How's it going guys, Rude Junkie here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the Nexus 6, an awesome device, and this is codename Shamu. So we're going to be talking about how to install Cygen Mod 12 based on Lollipop on the Nexus 6. Let's go do this. To install this, you're going to have some prerequisites we're going to have to meet. And those are, number one, unlocked bootloader. So if you haven't done that, definitely check out some of my videos on this device. You can see my playlist on YouTube or go to RootJunkie.com and you'll see full videos listed there and tons of directions. Number two, we have to have Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project and I choose to install that with Flashify. It does require root access to use Flashify to install it, but uh, that's what I choose to use. Or you can do it um, by flashing it in Fastboot, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well actually I'm not going to use that yet. I'm going to use it to boot into recovery. But first got to show you guys what we're going to need file wise to get this functioning correctly. So what you're going to need is, you're going to need this super user and that's the super user zip. The reason you're going to need that is because as of this point, the official size in mod 12 is not, does not come default with root access. Then you're going to need the ROM right there, CM12, and you're going to need the Google applications for Lollipop. Now, to get those, let me go ahead and show you where they are. It's pretty simple, and I'll give you links to all these. So right here, this is the SciGenMod website, and right there is the Nightly. I'll give you a direct link to this, okay? The next thing you're going to need to download is those uh, Google applications. And those you can actually find here on my site. This is RootJunkiesDL.com. And it should be right there, the newest one. Pretty simple. You can zoom in if you want and see it right there. Google Applications, the bottom one. Okay? After that, you're going to come over here to an XD post, which again I'll link you to. And you're going to scroll down until you see that link. No, where's that? Hang on. Oh, there it is. It's actually not showing a link, but it's right there. It's uh, Chainfire's uh, Super Sue zip you can download from right there. So those are the files you're going to need. Once you have them, we're going to boot into recovery. So I'm going to use this app to do it. Reboot to recovery. You can also get into recovery by using the uh, buttons over here. If you hold volume up and down and a power from an off, to st uh, off state, it'll boot into bootloader mode. And then you can select recovery and you'll get into recovery. If you have stock recovery, it's just going to bring you to stock, but if you have Team Win Recovery installed, it'll bring you to Team Win Recovery. Alright, so from here, it's really important that you guys go ahead and make an Android backup of your device. Select everything, swipe across, create your first Android backup. Once you have that, I'll show you, I've already got mine right here, so I'm not going to make one right this very second. You have to wipe your device. If you don't wipe your device, Saijin Model 12 here will not install. So go ahead and hit wipe. Go to Advanced, Wipe, Dovic, System, Data, Cache. Do not wipe internal storage. Don't do it. If you do that, you lose your ROM and your Google applications and your super user or your, your uh, super su zip. And if you lose those, then you can't flash the ROM. So don't, don't do that. Um, swipe across and uh, wipe data factory, reset the device. Done, you can go back, back, hit home button. Go to install. Navigate to where you have the ROM on your device. Normally you're going to end up starting here in your SD card. I put mine to downloads. This is probably where yours will be too. I put mine in a folder called CM. So I'm going to select the ROM, which is CM12, the date, nightly, Shamu, because Shamu is the code name. And I'm going to add a zip. And I'm going to select the uh, Gaps or Google Applications Lollipop. And then I'm going to add another zip. And this time I'm going to go up a level and I'm going to add the super user zip to get root access on CM12. So I should have three of ten right there. And swipe across to flash. Shabam. There it goes. This thing is, because it's got a rounded back, is a little bit spinny. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit spinny going on here. So um, this will install quite, quite quickly. Uh, it's a very small package, so by the time you get you know, everything you're flashing here, you're under a gig. So, like I said, the flashing process will go fast. Your ROM's already done. Right now, it's installing the Google applications, which are going to finish. And now it's installing the super user. And boom, you're done. That fast, super quick, super easy. 
So let's go ahead and reboot system. There we go. And there you go. There's that proves your unlocked bootloader. That little icon right there. You have to have that. Um, it should be on there every boot. And there is, boom, Cyogen Mod 12. Very cool. CM12 boot animation. Let's let this thing um, finish the boot up process. Give it a good five minutes for first boot. After that, it'll boot normally, but first boot needs about five minutes. I'm going to go ahead and show you CM12 because there's probably some variances and some differences in it here on the Nexus 6, and we'll go from there. Just because I want to show you this, and most people need to know this information, uh, if your device gets stuck on this screen and never, ever, ever boots up fully, never does it, you're going to pop off your device, and then we're going to hold some button combinations. Let me show you those. So I just went ahead and powered off the device. So we want to, we're stuck in a boot loop, let's say. That's just, we're just talking theoretically here. Um, we're going to go ahead and hold the volume up and down buttons. And then the power button. And you should see this mode. This is bootloader mode. So now you want to get back into Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. So we're going to scroll down with volume, see where it says recovery mode. And we're going to hit the power button and boom. Then in case we got stuck in some kind of boot loop, we're back into Team Win Recovery. And the beauty of this is if you need to get your device working correctly, go to restore, hit that, swipe across, let it finish, reboot the device, and you're back and running exactly the way you were before you tried to install this. So that's the fail safe if you have any issues, maybe a bad download, something like that happens. All right, let's get this thing back, booted back up, and finish showing you guys CM12. Here we go. This is the uh, initial um, boot up here. I don't have a SIM in this. That's why this is coming up. It won't come up for you guys. I'm um, doing my network stuff. Let me log into that really quickly. All right, there we go. And then the cool thing that is awesome about Lollipop, I've shown videos on this. It's quite amazing. I just check for updates right there, right off the get go. But it has the tap to go feature, which if you haven't seen that video, you've got to check it out. It's really cool. Just tap two devices together, everything syncs over, and you're up and running. I'm going to skip this for right now because I just want to show you guys the ROM. So I'm just going to skip through all of this. Ooh, slidey, slidey. All right, cool. More, more, next, finish, and ba boom. There it is. Saijin Mod 12 on the Nexus 6. So let's go ahead and just walk through what's in the ROM. First things first. You can see the pull down pulls down in one motion, which I like, and it's a setting you guys can adapt and change, but it's very cool. You got your flashlight, your uh, cast screen, different information right here for some toggles. So let's go into settings really quick and we'll come back to the applications. So this is all standard. There's nothing too, you know, surprising in here when it comes to those settings. There is nice status bar settings. And right here is where you have that quick pull down. You can turn on or off um, for some different things there. Notification counts, show weather. And then this, I always like to mess with this because yeah, I just do, it's just my style. Go ahead and change to circle. Your battery changes to circle. And then you can do percentage inside, which is nice. Or you can just do text and get your battery percentage that way. I just always like seeing my battery percentage. I'm kind of crazy about it, but this is what I do. So, um, so that's really cool display buttons and a bunch of different things you can do with power buttons navigation buttons long presses search buttons wake volume rockers all kinds of fun uh, presets and things you can do uh, let's see what else we got here so battery you guys have seen this this is pretty nice in lollipop some new features there in the battery just to see how much more you need to charge or how much more you have until it's dead there's some neat new uh, features there and then there you go you can kind of see through it now normally Saijin Mod right here has that uh, super user in systems right there but it's not available here because again like I said it's not pre-rooted but let's go ahead and look at that really quick so yeah it's got that Saijin Mod updates right there here and about phone you can see your build number you see your Android version Android 5.0.2 now I'm a little curious if there is a special Saijin Mod Easter egg in here so there's the lollipop, but I want to see if there's anything different or if it's the game. Yeah, it is the game. So still cool, very neat, but just curious if there's anything different in there. There's a build number and all that. 
Um, also, actually, if you're in here, you can actually come in to here, and if you want to turn developer options, obviously, this also enables another feature you'll see. It enables the performance, which is pretty cool. And here you can change your processor, how it's ramping, uh, governors, min max, different things to set on boot, along with your IO schedulers. And you can adjust those if you're into that kind of thing. All right, so that's your settings. Pretty much wraps them up. Let's go into your app drawer. And you do have the audio FX application right there. Um, browser, camera, gallery, size amount of file browser right here. Very, very nice. And I think, I'm not sure how you actually ask for root permission on this thing. Oh, here it is, access mode. So root access mode. And there you go. So that proves that that flash worked. Very, very nice. So now we have for sure root access. So you have that. I like CM file browser, or not CM, I'm sorry. I like ES file browser. It's personal favorite, per, personal favorite, but you know, it works for what's on here. You do have a messaging application right there. Looks like it's nice lollipop themed music. Uh, again, a music application. And most of this is Google applications though. There's the super user app. You guys are super suit app that we had installed. Install and add on, skip it back, add on backup script. Hmm, that's interesting. That will let super users survive custom ROM updates and nightlies. Oh, for sure. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. No thanks for that, but yeah, that's that's amazing. I love it. Love it. Good job, Chainfire. So yeah, there you go. Applications, you've seen those now. Here's your widgets. Very, uh, pretty much standard stuff here. Yeah, nothing we haven't all seen before. Standard scrolling, yeah, so. Very cool, that's basically what you got. Um, I did see this, which is pretty neat. You can actually lock your um, folders. You gotta set up a password on your device, but it's something that you can do. That was kind of a neat feature I saw in uh, CM12. So there you go guys, that's gonna be CM12 on your Nexus 6. Hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more on this device. We'll be covering all kinds of goodies along with all the other Android devices I have. And we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.